Well, good morning. And welcome back to the beginnings of autumn here in Cambridge. Now, for those of you that have been around the channel for a while, you'll know we're coming up on the one year anniversary of the installation of our heat pump. And over the last 12 months, I've had a ton of questions. More, I would say, a ton of reasons why this won't work for insert name of generic type of person. But just lately, there's been one that's been popping up in the comments more than others. And today, I want to address that. And that's the question of Legionella. Now, for those that don't know, Legionella is a deadly disease that can live and grow in warm static water. And so the worry is, or at least the, the myth that's been put around is that because heat pumps generate lower heat, lower amounts of heat in the water that they store in your tank, therefore it's a perfect breeding ground for Legionella. So today, we're gonna to put that to the test. In fact, we're gonna put that to test over the next month, and we're gonna see, is there any indication that Legionella is growing in the tank upstairs? So how are we gonna do this? Well, I just happen to have three Legionella test kits. Now, this is not a sponsored video. These were purchased off Amazon. There are plenty of other brands out there, but this is the one that's generally had good reviews, people said, um, worth the money. Now, these are not cheap. These cost about 25 pounds per test. So we're gonna limit ourselves to three tests to uh, keep the, the burden off of my wallet. But what we're gonna do today is we're gonna run a control test. So last night I had the heat pump booster, that's the electric thermostatically controlled heater that's in the cylinder, come on at about 4.30 in the morning. And you can see on the on-screen chart here that it was able to dump some power into the cylinder, which raised the cylinder up to around about 63 degrees. And it sat there at 63 degrees for about four hours until we had our morning showers. So we've had a chance to kill off any Legionella that's in the tank, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a reading today with one of these tests to make sure that there is no Legionella present. Then, in two weeks from now, we're gonna run another test. And we're gonna see if we don't add any extra Legionella cycles to the tank, if we just keep it at our 43 degrees, what does the second test show? And then after that, I'm actually gonna be going away for a, just over a week. So we're actually gonna let the water sit in the tank. We're not gonna use any of it. We're gonna keep it at 43 degrees while we're away. And when we return, we're gonna run the third test and we're gonna see, has any Legionella developed? And fingers crossed, everything is good. And if that's the case, then we don't need to run our Legionella cycle every single week. We can then run it every two weeks, every four weeks, or whatever you feel comfortable with but I thought it's a perfect opportunity to put this one to bed. So let's head inside, let's take a look at the test, see what's involved, and then let's go capture our control sample. Okay, as I said, um, we've got three tests. Let me just make a bit of space here. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna label them up now so that we don't get them mixed up. So this is our control test. This is week two, and this is week four. Now, let's put those to one side and let's take a look and see what we get in the box. So, now you certainly don't get much for your 25 pounds, but we get a set of instructions, we get a sterile test kit, we get a pipette, a swab, and a plastic container that looks like some sort of sample with, with some sort of liquid in there. Um, and nothing else. Okay, so let's take a look at the instructions. Um, from what I can see here, this looks very much like a COVID test. Um, there is a swab that you swab around your location, whether it be a sink or a shower. Um, you then insert that into the liquid, you shake it up, you use the pipette, to put it onto the test strip, you wait 25 minutes, and then depending on 
what you get in fact is almost exactly like a COVID test. Um, if you get a single line, it's negative. If you get double lines, it's a positive. So let's go and gather a sample and test to make sure that we have no Legionella in our system at the beginning of the test cycle. So here we are in the shower and my plan is to swab around this head because if I just tilt it a little bit, you can see water does tend to sit behind these nozzles. Um, so there is a possibility that that's where something could, uh, could start to breed. So first things first, let's get our peel here. I say peel here, but you can't actually peel here. Okay, there's our sterile swab. And what we need to do is just collect where the water has come through a little bit. Get that nice and... What we've now got to do is insert the... And you'll notice there's a little red line there. And it says to break it off at the red line, put the cap back on, which now it doesn't want to go on. There we go. And shake vigorously for 20 seconds. Hey Siri, set a timer for 20 seconds. A few moments later. Okay, that's our 20 seconds. Let's head back downstairs. Okay, so we've got our sample. What we need to do now is open up the... They say tear here, but... There we go. So as you can see, for anyone that's taken a COVID test, very, very similar. So test sample goes here, and obviously your two lines will appear here. Okay, so... We now have a little disposable pipette. What we need to do is just draw some fluid. Okay, we seem to have enough now. So again, just like the COVID tests, all we do is pop a couple of drops onto the test there, place it down. And we start a timer. Hey Siri, start a timer for 25 minutes. One eternity later. Okay, it's been a whole 25 minutes. And if we take a look, we can see there clearly that is a negative test. So what we'll do next is we will wait a whole two weeks. We will continue to use the system as normal. We'll keep the water at 43 degrees in the tank. And in two weeks time, We'll run the whole test again and we'll see what happens. So I'll see you guys in two weeks time. Well, actually, I'll see you in about one second. Two weeks later. So welcome back. It's been a whole two weeks and we've done our control test. Today, we're gonna to go and take a sample from exactly the same place, from the same shower head, and we're gonna test. Now, we haven't changed the temperature of the water. It's been consistently heating up to about 43 degrees storing it in the tank for two solid weeks. So let's go grab a sample and we'll see what the results are. Okay, so we have our sample. It's nicely shaken up in there. So let's unbox our... One of these days I'll be able to tear one of these open. Get our fresh new test her out. And then, okay, so same as before, just like the COVID test, a few drops onto the test. More. Hey Siri, set a timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes, starting now. So all we've got to do now is sit and wait for this to give us a result. We'll be back in 20 minutes.
More moments later. Okay, we're back. It's been 20 minutes, and we have another negative test. In fact, just to show, there is our original control, and there is our two-week test. So, two weeks of keeping the water in the tank at 43 degrees hasn't shown any signs of any Legionella. But what we're going to do now is we're going to leave it another two weeks. In fact, we're going to be away for a significant portion of that. So the water is literally going to sit in the tank. And what we'll do is we will test it the day we come back. And that means that we will have the maximum time for anything that is trying to grow in the water to give it a chance and see that it shows up on the tests. And then if that still shows a negative test, what I'll probably do at that point is set my Legionella cycle to run once every three to four weeks um, because there doesn't seem to be any reason to be running it weekly. But anyway, two weeks time. I'll see you back here in just a few seconds. Two weeks later. So we're back. It's been a whole two weeks. The water has been sitting in the tank at 43 to 44 degrees for a solid 10 days. So if there was ever an opportunity for Legionella, nasties to start growing in the water, this was the time for it to happen. So what I've done is we've come back, uh, we've been away, nobody's run any hot water and I've taken a sample. It's in the sample container. So we're now gonna go ahead and we're gonna test that. And if it's positive, then we'll know that we were good up to our two week period. Here is the test from two weeks ago, um, showing negative. So if we get a positive now, we'll know that somewhere between two and four weeks, it started to grow. If we get a negative now, then we're gonna sit down and we're gonna reevaluate how often we run the Legionella cycle and save a little bit of energy. But anyway, let's go ahead and get the test um, onto the board and then we'll have to wait 20 minutes to, uh, to see the results. Well, you won't have to wait 20 minutes. I know they're disposable, but they could put a bit more effort into making these things work. Okay, so fresh test, a few drops of liquid, and we will let that sit. Hey Siri, start a timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes, starting now. I'll be back in 20 minutes. Eventually. Okay, we're back for the big reveal, and no shock, another negative test. So that means that we've had three negative tests. And if I compare them to the result sheet that we get in the box, um, in none of the three tests do we have any sign of any Legionella. Now, these are just at-home test kits. They uh, are probably the simplest and easiest way for you to be able to check yourself but they're not 100% reliable. There are test kits that you can buy where you take a sample and you send it off to a lab. They will actually do the test and give you a result back. So um, I wouldn't be 100% certain with these, but they're a pretty good indication that there is no Legionella growing in my cylinder. So that's been four weeks. We've got a series of negative tests. And what I'm going to do now is set the Legionella cycle for my tank to run every three weeks. So I will set up an automation, probably in Home Assistant, where it will just turn on the, the booster, uh, which is the resistive heating element in the tank, for about two hours in the early hours of the morning. It'll bring the tank temperature up to about 65 degrees. It will sit there until we have our morning showers around about 8, 8.15, 8.30 in the morning. So... That means that if there's any Legionella starting to grow in the tank, it will get killed off by that cycle. And we'll run that, I say, every every three weeks, just, just to be on the safe side. Um, yeah, so four weeks, no Legionella, happy with those results. Hopefully this has been informative. If you do want to test your own, these are available and others like them are all available on Amazon. I will put a link to this specific one into my link tree if anybody wants to uh, to purchase one um, using my, my affiliate codes. With that, I'm gonna sign off. 
I hope this has been interesting. It has been a, a bit of a long experiment just to see uh, to see what will happen. But hopefully uh, you'll have got something out of it. And if I'm lucky, I will see you back here real soon for another video. Take care. Bye-bye.